everybody. Today is... Staddles Day! Staddles Day, January the 16th. And um, Russ and I are going over to the bungalow. Um, we went over, I don't know if it was last week or the week before, and I did a little video then of um, Russ's garage. So I'm going to upload that now. And then after that, you'll see us when we've moved in our first boxes. So that was a bit exciting. And then uh, after that, I will add on today's video from that. I won't be videoing the garage again from now on. Well, that's a good idea. Is that heavy or It's medium. Definitely not light. First box is in. <laughs> what? Christmas tree. Oh, the Christmas tree. Uh, Rudolph. Rudolph. Rudolph looking out. He's keeping his eye over, is he? So exciting. We've moved our first boxes in. Russ has been here for two weeks, solidly working on his workshop. And yes, folks, he was even here Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and New Year's Day. So he's put all the shelving in, he's put his benches in. If I bring you back here, as then you can see. And then here, this is where the washing machine and tumble dryer is going to go. This is like the little utility bit he keeps saying he's got to share with me. And then this is the wet room. Now you can see how how good it is and how big it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what a view. So today is the 2nd of December. No, it's not. 2nd of January 2021. And um, hopefully our patio doors, the bungalow patio doors, and our bedroom patio door will be here this week. Our bedroom patio door, yeah, will be here this week. It should be, but there's already been a delay on that. So hopefully, but yeah, that's that one. Let's go through. I'll show you the kitchen. I have to have a step up here. Oh. So Nana thought that we had a I don't know, this is this is a this is a medium sized kitchen. This is the kitchen here, Nana. This is the kitchen. It's about the same size as a nook kitchen. This is where the fridge is gonna go. Dishwasher. Well, it's looking really good and the oven so the high level and the hob will go here so i think it's, this is the hob area and this is for the ovens those two smaller squares here's the floor this is oak floor I think the floor has all been laid. 
everywhere. And he's finishing it off. I think he's done the oak flooring up to here, I think. Yes, no oak flooring hasn't been done in here. So here's going to be my nursery. So if people ask me, am I going to have a nursery? Yes. I'm going to have a nursery right next to my bedroom. Nursery. Right next to the lounge. So kitchen area. So I don't have far to walk. It's just going to be shelves along here to store my bits and that on. Bits. And then nothing's been done anywhere else because it's been two weeks since you last saw it. And the builders have all been, um, tradesmen are on holiday. They traditionally in England take two, two weeks off over Christmas and New Year. Which is why Russ has been able to work here. Because he's took two weeks off. And actually, normally we are on, um, we're normally away. We're normally in Scotland or somewhere this time of year. Because on Monday it'll be our 12th wedding anniversary. And we're normally away and we normally like to go to Scotland. Scotland. That's where we got married. That's where we got engaged. And I just love to go back there. Well, and so does Russ. No can do this year, thanks to Corona. So it's meant that, good though, good way, Russ has been able to keep on going with his workshop, which is right off the kitchen. <laughs> Well, this is going to be a dining area. So I've been mean, right off the side of the house. This is going to be a dining area. It's going to be the lounge area. So hopefully the windows will come. So we've got four windows. Yeah, we've got that window. The one in our bedroom. Got a big patio doors. And this here is a bathroom window. So that's what we're waiting for. Oh, you got so grumpy. On a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you? <laughs> you should be very happy. <laughs> oh my God, have you seen the size of his workshop? He should be very happy, shouldn't he, folks? <laughs> Excellent. Smells lush and new. Wow. Door's being cleaned. No? No? Oh. Well, they cleaned it when they put it in. I'll tell you what they've done. They suit that side of it. Oh, right. That side's been cleaned up a bit. Remember, she's gone. Over. It makes it a bit nicer. Screens are going in. Screens are going in. All the floors down there. Anyway. All the floor is there. Wow. Oh, and the skirtings. Oh my God, that looks lovely. That looks a lush. So what's going here? That's the all your fitted wardrobe. Yeah, but what on the bottom? Oh, is it a fitted wardrobe like that? Yeah. Oh, I thought it's just shelves going up. No, no, it's a fitted. Fitted, fitted shelves, you know. You look like the kitchen, outdoors. Oh, so I don't think they're going to take up as much room as I thought. So they're going in that groove there? No, they've got to come past that, I think. Oh, right. It'll be on, it'll be a bottom on legs like that, you know, it'll start the legs. So oh, like the kitchen? Mm. Oh. Would you bum a minute, Millie? So like a fence along the bottom and then... Oh, wow, look at the skirting. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, I can step over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't step on the floor. Wow. That looks awesome. That would look lovely. That would look, yeah. That wood looks great. These lovely dwarf things. It does look great, doesn't it? It's like cool, isn't it? <laughs> it's like what, Russ? It's like cool, <laughs> Wow. He said it like this. It feels better than a good woman. He said it smells better when you work it. <laughs> that is really, really nice. can see the architrave, yeah. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, it smells divine. Oh, that looks so good. I think we're going to have the, the bunk beds here. Two small cots, one for Annie, one for Timothy, and then the big cot for the little babies under the window, I think, so far. That looks great. Look at it. It's so nice. Oh, we've got some lights on. Oh, wow. Let's put the frames around. All the frames are all painted. Oh, very nice. What do you think, Millie? What do you think? It says it's very nice in here. Wow. is going out to his garage. There's a window. You have a window. I'll come back down here in a minute. There's the other window that we put in. Gives it a little bit more light. It's about what's time? About one o'clock? Quarter past one. And so it is quite light. Such a tiny little cosy little kitchen. It's a little bit bigger than the nook. But look, look at how great the cabinet maker is. I don't know if you can see up there where he's gone. All the way along, he's up, everything's like fitted. Everything is fitted to the ceiling. I love that. I'm not having, I think I'm having a groove in the door. I think I might be having a groove in the door. I'm not sure, but storage is all nice. You want to go down there with Dad? Hang on a minute then. Millie can't see to jump down from here, down onto Russ's workshop floor. Yeah, I'm going to let you go down there. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. You want to go down there with Dad, do you? Wait. So there's the kitchen. It's very small. But there's the patio door, it's massive. It's looking so, so good. Don't think I can show you anything else. That's Russ's workshop. So we've got the window in there. What's this patio doors? But I can show you that. <laughs> it's all starting to be tidied up around the back and everything now as well. Yeah, I know you want to go down there. I'm going to let you go down there in a minute. Just hang on. Wow, the TV's going to go here. We've got our log burner coming this week. All the floor is down now. Oh, great. All the floor is down. So excited. Love that big window in our bedroom. When we have bed days, it's going to be great days. <laughs> go on, I'll let you down with Dad now then. I'm going to go down with Dad. I'm not going out. I'm going to go down this way. Yeah, I'm in Russ's workshop with his patio doors. I can show you the back now. We've got a big patio door in. That's a door. That's a window. 
dining like area, seating area, the nursery and the patio door for our bedroom. Oh. oh yeah, they have done a lot of them. Um, cleared up a lot of the garden. Excellent. We've still got a way to go. But we should be able to get in there soon. So, there we go guys. I don't know if it's much of a change from when you saw it last. I can't quite remember when I brought you. I know it was before Christmas. I did a last video so I know the patio doors and that went in oh my god it looks so amazing smells all new and lovely as well and I love that um, I kind of like at home though at the moment in that like in between stage like um, can't really do any more packing because it's stuff that we need to use now at home and then we need to use them like when we like the kitchen stuff so I can't pack up with the kitchen stuff Everything in this, um, we've cleared all our attic and our attic bedroom and all of that is cleared. I've got the doll's room, but most of the doll's room stuff, you know, if you're a regular viewer, most of in my doll's room, stuff is in boxes and that anyway. So all that would be a case of, I'm so lucky to have my camper, is I just load up my camper with all my boxes, bring them straight over here. When I've got that um, shelving unit, they'll just go on the shelving unit. Um, I might have to get new boxes. I don't know. I'm not quite, quite sure how wide he's going to do the shelf, shelving, but it is coming in one like whole piece. Like, like I thought it was just going to be shelves fit to the wall, but actually it's not. It's going to be proper built. And um, so I might have to get extra boxes for that, but I don't know yet. I'm videoing. Might have to get extra boxes for that. But I don't know, I'm hoping not, because the fit in the boxes that I've got is what I'm hoping. Um, so that'd be the doll's room. Um, our utility at home now is just got like shoe boxes in it and our coats, washing machine, double jar, and what's on the little shelf. So that's nothing to pack. You know, me and Russ don't really, I'm not, Russ has lots and lots of stuff. It's become quite apparent now. That Russell Knight is a hoarder. I don't have lots of stuff. It's, it's all become, necessary. It's become quite apparent now. It's not hoarding. It's because necessary. I'm it's telling you what, that garage must be what? The garage you've got now, you've got now must be twice the size of the garage the, the, at the nook. Three times the size. About one and a half times the size. No way. Yeah, that's all. No, see, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> His face has given it away. And he had all this stuff in there and it's gone over there and it's gone on the shelves and it just looks jam-packed now. And he still hasn't finished. He is a hoarder, ladies. And they, people go on about us and people go on about us and our all our stuff that we collect. It's not junk. Um for our for our dolls and stuff. It's not a nice pull out really here. I'm surprised you went this way. Oh, because you were turned down, weren't you? The road's shut at the top. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah the road's Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, right. there's any way back, we went around. Yeah, yeah, it's not, not a good pull out. Look at the I size of our garage. You can see our bungalow now up on the hill. Look at the size of the garage. It's like an extra I'm size glad bungalow. I'm said it's our garage, because it is our garage. It's, it's not just mine. <laughs> it's ours. <laughs> Unlike your bedroom and your kitchen. Anyway, so we had a little talk about the shed you know can you know so if you're a long time viewer of mine then you'll know that in my shed I was meant to have a shed for my pram collection but <coughs> it got overtook it got overtook with the logs then it got overtook with the mower then all sorts of other things that are to do with gardening and then um, some saw thing came and went in there so it kind of oh, like that sort of thing was very temporary while we were moving. It's temporary, temporary it's three years ago, yeah. No, it was six months ago. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It, it was longer was. than that. You was. It was. Right. Yeah, right. It wasn't. It wasn't. Right. So I actually don't really have that good a, a pram collection now because I didn't have no room for them. 
So Russ's first oh, job. So shed, then. Russ's first job when he moves in. Yes, I want them. That's the whole point. Actually, I like push chairs more than prams. I like the old push chairs. So anyway, he keeps trying to interrupt me and lose my train of thought. So I don't keep going on about how big his garage is. <sighs> I'm sure there's a euphemism there somewhere. I don't know. I'm sure there is. Anyway, so we're talking about the garage today. What? That view? Yeah, I see the view. We're talking about my shed today. See? You did get me off track. We're talking about my shed today. <laughs> because that is his first job, really, when he moves. When we've moved in and, like, all our beds and everything's all set up inside the bungalow. That's his job, but then, is to sort out my shed. And Russ wants to do that. You want to do that yourself, don't you? Because then it will last, you know, probably as long as we've got left, rather than buying a cheaper one from Wilkinson's or some Wilco's or something like that, a builder's or something. So he's going to do that. So a lot of the stuff when we go over, because we won't be using the guest room, so a lot of the stuff when we go, when we move, the stuff that won't go in the house, we are going to put into the guest room. And then gradually, so I'm going to gradually sort through that, because it's mostly my boxes, while we're there. While I find somewhere to, you know, have them, because I don't have as big of a playroom as Russ, so, you, you know. you got the whole house. <laughs> <laughs> sure. In the dining room. What? What's that? Whatever you do. Whatever I do in the dining room. Yeah. Well, I can't do that. You'll, you'll get funny if I bought an engine. If you put a dining room table, won't I? But you yeah, can do that. You can, you I can. definitely would get funny if you brought an engine in into the kitchen, especially with the size of your man cave. He's already t so today. He was already talking about um, like cutting stuff up and that needs to lean to to cut all his like wood and all that up. That's and I'm like, plan. That's what I put the voice on. So the he's even got to grow out of his brand new. No, that we haven't stuff. moved into yet, yeah, man cave. No, 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 it's to please it's you. It's already growing it's out to of please it. You, love. you don't have to please me. I don't care about what you get in your floor yeah, in your you man cave. Want, you want all that dust in your washing machine. Yeah, all right. Here we go. Here we it's go. It's about dusty stuff outside. Do dusty stuff. Stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it up. <laughs> 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 We're both very, very excited, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. We're very lucky. Very lucky. Some friend, a friend of ours said, "Well, it's not about being lucky; it's about um, working hard for it." But it's still, we still feel that we are lucky. Yeah, you work hard. Every, a lot of people work hard, but they're not fortunate to be able to live in a place like that, to be able to do up a place like that. I mean, we are really lucky for around here as well. What we paid for it was just. <laughs> like said, the gods were shining. The like, gods were shining that day. Like, like Dick said, every year the view will get less as we slip down the hill. As we slip down the hill, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that because the wall already fell well, down. The good thing is the garage won't slip down the hill because it's got piles <laughs> in. So you might disappear down here in the house. Can the garage stay where it is? <laughs> anyway, so there we are. I hope you enjoyed the update today. And, uh, next month's update is going to look so much diff so much more different i mean come on it's getting right near the stage of moving in now <laughs> bye everyone see you in the next video